date, HIV has killed over 30 million people. Even now, it infects 3,000 new victims each day. The most cost-effective way to address these statistics includes the development of an HIV vaccine. And after 30 years of effort, well, we still don't have one. Why? Simply put, HIV is a virus that's really good at mutating itself and changing how it looks. How do you make a vaccine against a moving target? I'd like to tell you about my research in which I attempt to address this question. A few years ago in sub-Saharan Africa, a group of researchers made an astonishing discovery. They had identified a subset of HIV patients whose blood could neutralize or inactivate up to 98% of the HIV variants it came across. What was this component of their blood? And how can we learn from this to guide vaccine design? It turns out that proteins called antibodies found in the blood of these elite neutralizers bind very tightly to the tip of a protein spike found on the virus and prevent the virus from entering the cell. Even more interesting, these antibodies, which are part of your immune response, recognized a combination of this protein tip and glycans, or sugars, that were attached to it. What? Sugars? These sugars on HIV do not seem to change often, which is why an antibody targeting them is so effective. To explain this, consider a mug of beer. This Bierstein has a handle, a bottom, a rim. You can change the color, size, shape, but if you get rid of that handle, the Bierstein has lost its functionality to let my tiny hand bring a liter of beer to my lips. <laughs> Perhaps these sugars on HIV are just like that Bierstein handle. Their structure is so crucial to the function of the virus, it cannot tolerate changing them. If so, we can take advantage of this in vaccine design. A vaccine acts like a biological wanted poster. By presenting your body with a representation of what the virus looks like, it helps your body arm itself with antibodies before you are even in danger. I have designed, and am currently patenting, a minimal vaccine component that steers your antibody response directly to these same fragments targeted by the elite neutralizers. I use chemical treatments to make sure the correct glycans are displayed. I hope that by focusing your immune response to these conserved regions of the virus, what I consider the Achilles heel of a virus, we can make an HIV vaccine that protects against HIV and all its flavors. Wouldn't that be a sweet solution to a sticky situation? Thank <laughs> you.